Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. So yes, first we will find here characteristic matrix. And this matrix is given by this matrix A minus lambda i. Where this matrix A is given matrix, lambda is the scalar and i is identity matrix of same order as of this matrix A. So here we have this matrix by putting this matrix A and I we have here so here we have find this matrix A minus lambda I now we have to find characteristic equation for given matrix and this characteristic equation is given by this determinant of a minus lambda i is equals to 0. Yes, we have to find the determinant of this matrix and by putting this determinant is equals to 0, we will get characteristic equation. Now, when we solve this determinant, yes, we get equation is of this form lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equals to 0 where this s1 is sum of diagonal elements s2 sum of minors of diagonal elements and s3 is determinant for this matrix yes we have to find s3 and this is given by Yes, S3 is the determinant of given matrix and we have find this determinant. This is, we got here 4, right? So, yes. Now, we have to put S1, S2, S3 in this equation. So, here we have Yes, we have find this characteristic equation. Yes, when we put this values S1, S2, S3, yes, in this equation, we got this characteristic equation. Yes, we have find characteristic equation for given matrix. Now, this is a cubic equation. Yes, now we have to find its root. So, yes, we can check that. This lambda is equals to 1 is a 1th root of this equation. So, yes, lambda minus 1 is a 1 factor. Then, next we have to find its another factor and that is by synthetic division. So, yes, here we have to write down ascending powers of lambda. And we have to proceed here. Yes, we have find next this quadratic factor. Now we can find its roots. So here we have, yes, this is, yes, this is lambda minus 2 its square, right? So yes, on simplification, we got here this is lambda is equals to 1. And for this is here, lambda is equals to 2. And lambda is equals to 2, yes. So we got this values of lambda here, this is called characteristic roots or this eigenvalues for given matrix, right? Now, for this eigenvalues, we have to find eigenvectors. So, let's proceed for this. For finding eigenvector, we have to consider matrix equation and this matrix equation is given by this matrix E minus lambda i into x is equals to 0, right? Where we have find this matrix earlier, so we have to put this value here. And x is this vector having unknowns x, y, z. And this 0 is null vector. This is column vector. 
Now by using this matrix equation, we have to find eigen vector for respective eigen values. So first we will find eigen vector for this lambda is equals to 1. So for this we have to put lambda is equals to 1 in this matrix equation. So here we have Now we have to simplify this matrix equation for getting the system of equations. So yes, we can check that here these are the two matrix and we have to solve yes by this doing this matrix multiplication. Yes, here we have this is 3x plus 6y plus 6z is equals to 0. Yes, we have to do the matrix multiplication and we have to equate this is equals to 0. Next here we have x plus 2y plus twice z is equals to 0. Next here this is minus x minus 5y minus 3z is equals to 0. Right? So yes we got this system of equation. Now we have to solve these equations for getting the values of this variable x, y, z. Yes. Now yes we can check that. These two equations are same here. Yes. Now we will take these two equations for finding the values of x, y, z by Kramer's rule. Yes. Since these two equations are equal here. So we have to take these two equations which are not equal. Right. So yes, we have to apply Kramer's rule for finding the values of x, y, z. So yes, we have to proceed. Now, yes, when we take this x, we have to write down, yes, x by determinant of, yes, remaining variables y and z, its coefficient, here we have to write down in this determinant, this 2, 2, minus 5, minus 3, and next, Yes. Now we have to simplify this is. So yes, we have find the values of x, y, z and we have to write down this is in this vector. Yes, we got this x1. Yes, x1 is first eigen vector. Yes. We got here, this is 4k, this is k and this is minus 3k. Yes, now we can take this k common. Yes, so here we have this is 4, 1 and minus 3. Yes, now we can put any values of k here. k is this real value except this 0. Yes, so we can take any value of k if we take k is equals to 1, right? So here we will get this is x1 is here. This is 4, 1, minus 3, right? Yes, we have taken k is equals to 1 for simplest form of eigenvector. So yes, we got here first eigenvector for lambda is equals to this 1, right? Next, we have to find eigenvector for this lambda is equals to 2. Yes, this is a repeated eigenvalue. Right? So, here we have to find two independent eigenvector for this repeated eigenvalue. So, let's proceed. Yes, we have to put lambda is equals to 2 in this matrix equation. So, here we have Now we have to simplify this matrix equation to get the system of equations. So here we have, yes, now we have to solve the system of equations for getting the values of x, y, z. We have to solve this is by Kramer's rule. Yes, we can apply Kramer's rule for any pair of equations. So we will apply Kramer's rule for this first two equations. Yes, so here we have
So yes, we got this values of x, y, z. Yes, this values yes satisfies the system of equations, right? That means when we put this values of x, y, z, yes, we get this LHS is equals to RHS. This is the solution of these three equations, right? So yes, now we have to find eigenvector by putting these values of x, y, z. So here we have this is right. So yes, we can take this is twice k. This is outside. So here we have this is 3, 1 and this is minus 2, yes. And this k belongs to this r minus 0, yes. We can take any value of k except this 0, right. So yes, we got this is next eigenvector we call this is as a x2, right. Yes, we have find this eigenvector this is for lambda is equals to 2 right and lambda is equals to 2 is a repeated eigenvalue that means we need here two independent eigenvector for this lambda is equals to 2 right that means again we have to put lambda is equals to 2 in this matrix equation right and we will get same system of equations by solving this system of equation we will get this values of x y z and we will get this same eigenvector right that means yes we will get this is x3 same this is as this vector right so here we have this is twice k into this is 3 1 minus 2 right yes we will get this next eigenvector x3 as same as this one right yes now one can say that if we put any value of k here right if we put k is equals to 1 by 2 for this x2 and if we put k is equals to minus 1 by 2 this is for x3 can we get different eigenvector yes let's check here this is x2 when we put 1 by 2 yes here we will get this is 3 1 and this minus 2 right and we will get this x3 by putting this is here. Yes, we have to put k is equals to minus 1 by 2. So, here we will get this is minus 3, minus 1 and 2. Yes. Now, check this two eigenvector. Yes, these are the, yes, these are the multiple of each other. Right. That means these are not a independent eigenvector. Right. Yes, that means for lambda is equals to 2, we will get only one eigenvector, right? Yes, and this is applicable for any value of k, yes, right? That means for lambda is equals to 2, we will get only one eigenvector, yes. When we put any values of k, we will get same eigenvector which are the multiple of each other, and we can't say these eigenvectors are independent, right? So, yes, we got here this first eigenvector. This is for lambda is equals to 1. And next eigenvector, this is for lambda is equals to 2, right? That means for this repeated value of lambda, we got only one eigenvector. Yes, we have to remember that when we find eigenvector that should be linearly independent, right? So, yes, we have find this two eigenvector for lambda is equals to 1 and this lambda is equals to 2. And these are the linearly independent eigenvector. So, yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.